If you love Japanese Italian pastas, stick around because I'm going to be showing you my delicious easy take on this new staple of Japanese home cooking. Welcome back to No Recipes. I'm Mark Matsumoto and today I'm going to be showing you how to make my easy, delicious mentaiko pasta. Pasta may not be the first thing that comes to mind when you think of Japanese food, but like many Western ingredients, it's become an increasingly popular part of the Japanese pantry. Like most ingredients that work their way around the world, pasta has been adapted using local ingredients to suit local tastes, and the result has been some delicious Japanese Italian mashups. Take this mentaiko pasta, for instance. Mentaiko is a type of cured cod roe, and the name usually refers to a mildly spicy Korean style roe that's cured using chili flakes and salt. The curing process amps up the umami, which makes for an irresistibly delicious pasta that doesn't take a lot of effort. Our ingredients today are spaghetti, mentaiko, a mild olive oil, half and half, or a mixture of half cream, half milk, Parmigiano Reggiano, green shiso, and nori. The first thing you want to do is bring a pot of salted water to a boil. I add about a tablespoon of salt for every five cups of water, which ensures that every strand of pasta is seasoned. Now we just have to boil the pasta. I'm using a thick spaghetti, so it's going to take about 12 minutes, but be sure to check your package of pasta for the time. While we wait for the pasta to boil, let's make the sauce. Mentaiko are contained in a tough membrane that makes it a bit like a sausage, so you can cut one end open and squeeze the roe out. For me, chopsticks make this job easier, but you can use tongs or even your fingers. Now we're going to add a mild olive oil, some half and half, and then we're going to grate in some Parmigiano Reggiano. This is going to add a ton of umami without making the sauce too salty. That's all the ingredients for this sauce, so let's go ahead and mix it up. I'm using chopsticks, but feel free to use a whisk. You just need to break up any clumps of roe and make sure the sauce is nice and smooth. Mentaiko can be a bit spicy, but the cream takes the edge off the heat, so even kids can eat this. And our sauce is looking good! For the garnish, I like to top this with strips of nori, and using scissors is the best way to cut it up thinly. I'm also going to roll up some green shiso leaves and chop them up into thin strips. But if you can't find shiso, parsley will work great as well. Okay, that pasta is done, so let's drain it. Because we're not cooking this any further, you want to make sure the pasta is cooked through to your liking. Now we're just going to toss the hot pasta together with the sauce until each strand is evenly coated, and it's done! To serve it, I like to wind the pasta up using tongs and a small bowl or ladle to make a nest. The most important thing though is to get this on the table quickly because it tends to clump up as it cools. Then I'm just going to garnish it with the nori and the shiso and it's good to go. Since it was invented in Tokyo about 60 years ago, mentaiko pasta has become a staple of Japanese home cooking. And given how easy and delicious it is, it's no surprise why. There's also a lot of room to get creative with this. I often add some yuzuko sho, which gives it a wonderful citrusy zing. For a lighter pasta, you can skip the cream and use a combination of a little more olive oil and the boiling liquid from the pasta. For kids, moms often use tarako, which is another type of cured cod roe that doesn't include chili peppers. This pasta is ridiculously tasty and it comes together in about as much time as it takes to boil a pot of spaghetti. So I hope you'll give it a try. Want to see more Japanese style pastas? Be sure to give us a thumbs up, 
subscribe, ring that bell, and please share this with all your friends that love a good pasta. All right, thanks so much for watching to the end, and I'll catch you in the next one. Look for us on Instagram at No Recipes.